Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I created my Halloween costume this year, which is the Phantom of the Opera Mask of the Red Death version. So, let's get started. So first I'm going to go over the things that I bought. I got the shirt, ruffles, and ski mask from Amazon, and red pants, and a giant red tablecloth from the thrift store. So, let's start on the DIY parts. First are his shoes. I started off with Presto shoes and made a plastic wrap and tape base, which means covering it in plastic wrap, then tape, drawing out your lines, and then cutting them out. This is so we can create a sock that will basically go over the shoe. After cutting them out, I use them as pattern pieces and cut them out of some red fabric. After they're cut out, I sew them together. The fabric I'm using is some t-shirt material so it can stretch over the shoe. Make sure you use a zigzag stitch. Then you can put the cover over the shoe. And this is how it looks. I got this belt buckle from a witch hat and painted it black and then gold. Then I used a ribbon to put it on the hat. For his mask, I got the skeleton mask from Walmart and then just pulled off the mesh parts over the eyes. Next, for his staff, I'm using this Devil's Pitchfork and this Skeleton from Walmart. Now, I want this to be removable in case I want to bring back the Pitchfork, so I'm going to be widening the hole on the Skeleton so it can just slip on right at the top. And here's how it looks. Next for the snake part, I covered the staff in plastic wrap and then wrapped a wire around it to provide a skeleton for the snake. I actually removed the wire because the clay didn't stick to it, so you can just skip this part if you're planning to recreate it. Then I used some model magic to sculpt the snake. I would actually recommend using foam clay for doing this because Model Magic isn't super flexible and they kind of cracked in a lot of places that I had to patch with some super glue. But I was kind of on a budget and I did not have a lot of time, so I just used what my local Michaels had. Then I added some scale texture using some burlap, then painted it black and silver. I move the plastic wrap, and then the staff is done. For the toga part, I just got the red tablecloth and pinned it to the side with a safety pin. And now it's time for the reveal.
Thanks for watching! Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you're gonna be for Halloween this year. Happy Halloween! Bye!